Welcome back. Now, in a bid to lower the mining sector's impact on the environment and to lower the costs of rising fuel prices, three companies have announced a pilot project that has successfully produced renewable diesel. Sasol, Anglo-American and De Beers made the announcement to the African mining in Daba. The companies are investing in Solaris. Now, this is a nicotine-free tobacco and Moringa plantations to create vegetable oil to produce renewable diesel. The companies say they will use the degraded mines to plant the crops for feedstock. Olani Mbanjwa caught up with Sasol's Danny Cronier. So we're very excited about the announcement we made this morning. Uh, it's a major milestone for Sasol in its transition to really create uh, sustainable, low-carbon solutions for not for our business only, but for our partners and that for uh, South Africa. And uh, this uh, joint agreement with uh, Anglo-American and De Beers really sets the scene and it takes the very first steps for us to produce a renewable diesel going forward from now. And what's nice about the product uh, is that it is a drop-in product. Uh, it's got the same chemical product uh, properties as uh, a normal fossil fuel derived uh, diesel. So our customers can use it in their daily operations as normal uh, fuel that they use in their trucks uh, when they use their, uh, their facilities. And they, they don't have to change uh, the trucks or anything. What's interesting, uh, you are using a moringa, um, which is a plant that grows abundantly in Limpopo, as well as Solaris. Tell us about that as a feedstock. Yes, renewable diesel is uh, exactly what it uh, tells from the name. It, it's derived from renewable resources. In this case, the two plants that you mentioned, Solaris and Moringa. Both these plants have got properties of producing a, a, a CD oil. And from that purpose, we create a vegetable oil that we hydrogenate and then process through our refinery then to produce uh, diesel. So we are uh, working as a partnership together to see how we can plant these crops and, uh, and really make it uh, cost effective and setting up that supply chain and bringing in a real cost-effective alternative for us here in South Africa. Not commercial yet, but you're hoping to, to commercialize it. What would it take? So the trials will take us about a year or two to really establish what the, the yields is of this crop. Uh, it's really, uh, we want to use that to, to uh, plant on degraded uh, mining land, to use mining water. So, and we want to see what these uh, crops yield under those circumstances. Once we've got that data, uh, we will, from that uh, perspective, then be able to scale it up uh, to a commercial solution uh, and to make it viable for, for our partnership. But this first trial is really to understand how these crops uh, yield, uh, what the yield is in the circumstances, and uh, therefore we need about a year or two before we can get to that uh, commercialization process. And the capital being injected in the project? Yes, yeah, so for now it's not a lot of capital that's required. It's uh, really just uh, planting the crops and, uh, and uh, fertilizer and the normal operating costs associated uh, with, uh, with the crops. Our facilities and assets have got the ability to process uh, the, the vegetable oil uh, without too, too, too much capital uh, spent at the moment. Of course, as we go into the commercial side, we'll need to invest more capital in our plants. But for right now, for this trial, not a lot of capital expenditure.